Hello everyone, welcome to the solution part of JE Main 2019 mathematics paper. Today we are going to talk about 9 January 2019 evening shift paper mathematics. Let us start with the question number 1. It says if f x equals integral 5 x 8 plus 7 x 6 whole divided by x square plus 1 plus 2 x 7 whole square dx then we have to find the value of f1 one initial value condition f0 is also given as 0. So, a question from integration. Now, when you look at the numerator and denominator part you can conclude this is 5 this is 7 right. If I divide this expression by x14 in numerator and denominator what it is going to give let us check out. If it gives you if you divide it by x14 this gives 5 by x to the power 6 plus 7 by x to the power 8 divided by we have taken x14 common or divided by the same you can say. So, here it will go inside x7 only. So, it becomes 1 by x5 plus 1 by x7 plus 2 whole square dx. Why particularly by x14? See numerator has 2 terms, denominator has 3 correct. When you take the derivative 2 will be left if one of the 3 terms is constant. This is clear. So, when you are dividing you are need to take common something like x14 or x4. This is clear. Okay. Now, let us substitute 1 by x5 plus 1 by x7 plus 2 as t. What is the result? It is going to give you minus 5 x6 minus 7 by x8 dx is equal to dt. Substituting it in the expression we have obtained, we get i equals this is minus dt minus integral dt divided by t square or simply 1 by t plus constant of integration. Substitute back the value of t what you had taken earlier this is equal to simply when you put t as this term you can take LCM numerator you can write x7 divided by on taking LCM x square plus 1 plus 2x7 plus constant of integration right. Now, let us see what is being asked in this question f1 f0 is also given to me 0. So, let us first find the constant of integration when you say f0 is equal to 0 it implies that 0 equals 0 plus c that is c is also 0 correct. Now, we are looking for the value at x is equal to 1 therefore, f1 is equal to 1 upon 1 plus 1 plus 2 that is 1 by 4. So, the correct answer we obtain for this question is 1 by 4. Let us see the given options. Clearly, it is given in option number 2. So, let us mark it. The correct option for this question is option number 2. I am sure this is clear. Let us move on to the second question of this paper. Let f from 0 to 1 to set of real numbers be such that f of x y is equal to f x into f y for all values of x and y in the interval 0 to 1. Now, f 0 is non 0 it is clearly given y equals y x satisfies the differential equation d y by d x equals f x this is something different. So, first we have to talk about the function f once we obtain that f we will be substituting here and then we will be solving this differential equation. This is clear. Okay. So, going with the constraint given in this question that is f x y is equal to f x into f y. Now, when you say x and y both are 0, you obtain f 0 is 1. Why so? Because f 0 is non 0, it is clearly given in the question. Second, when you say x is say 0, but y is 1, you obtain f 1 is also 1. See f 1 is f 0 into f 1. So, f 1 is also 1. 
f0 f1 both are obtained as 1 ok. If I differentiate this equation with respect to x keeping y as constant I am getting differentiate with respect to x partially we obtain f dash x y into y is equal to f dash x into f y. If I put here y equals say x and x equals 1, y is replaced with x and x is replaced with 1. The general approach for this kind of questions, we have f dash x into x is equal to f dash 1 into f x. So, finally, we have the equation of the type f dash x upon f x is equal to say for example, k a constant value for f dash 1 say this is k correct. So, we have this equation on integrating this equation we obtain log f x is equal to k log x plus constant of integration. Now, f 1 is 1. So, when you put x equals 1, you get f 1 is 1. So, it is 0 is equal to 0 plus c that is the constant of integration is 0. Now, when you plan to substitute here x is equal to 0, what you obtain? This term does not exist this term does not exist, but it is given f 0 is 1. So, what is the possibility at x is equal to 0, f 0 is 1, but here, here it is possible only if k is 0. So, when you say k equals 0, what is the result here? We simply have log f x is equal to 0 or f x is equal to 1. So, the given function is a constant function and the function is f x equals 1. I am sure this is clear, pretty interesting question. Now, it is not complete even now. The questions further says dy by dx is f x. We have to solve this differential equation with the constraint y 0 equals 1. So, since dy by dx is f x, now it is 1. So, we have y is equal to x plus c. Since y 0 is 1, that means c is 1. So, the function obtained here is simply y equals x plus 1, y equals x plus 1. Now, look at the question part. They are asking for 1 by 4 at y and y at 3 by 4. So, we have 1 by 4 plus 1 plus 3 by 4 plus 1. What is the answer here? Correct answer is option number 2 that is 3. So, this is the correct solution for this question and option is 2. Let us move on to the third question of this paper. If the lines x equals a y plus b and z equals c y plus d, is it a line? Yes, it is representing pair of planes. So, we are talking about line of intersection of these two planes and then the line of intersection of these two planes. The question is saying the lines are perpendicular, then what is the required condition? Simple one, in this case we can see in the first plane one variable z is missing. In the second plane one variable x is missing, y is common in both. So, simply we can get the solution in this fashion x minus b upon a equals y equals z minus d upon c. This is about the first equation of line in the symmetric form. Similarly, we can find the symmetric form of line for the second pair of planes and x minus b dash divided by a dash is equal to this is z is equal to y minus d dash divided by c dash is equal to z meaning z upon 1. Similarly, here y upon 1. 
Now, two lines are perpendicular. What is the constraint between their direction ratios? It is a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus c1, c2 equals 0. Hence, the solution is clearly visible here. Therefore, a a dash plus c dash plus c is equal to 0 as lines are perpendicular. So, just look at the option part a a dash plus c plus c dash is equal to 0 that is option number 3 is the correct answer. I am sure this question is clear to you. Let us move on to the next question of this paper that is question number 4.